I'd like to welcome all of you to mark uh, the day celebrating 75 years of Indian independence. I, I want to read a little excerpt from uh, Jawaharlal Nehru that he gave on the eve of the Independence Day. Long years ago, we made a tryst with destiny, and now the time comes when we shall redeem our pledge, not wholly or in full measure, but very substantially. At the stroke of midnight, when the world sleeps, India will awaken to life and freedom. So I don't want to delay this any further, so I ex um, request all of you to please gather around. How's it going, guys? Good evening. Um, hello. Hi. Suprabhat. Jaisi Krishna to everyone that's able to join us here today. My name is Shivam Patel and I'm honored to be here speaking about India's independence and why it is such a monumental milestone in our history. On August 15, 1947, India fought and won its independence from the British rule and this year marks the 76th anniversary of that victory. Just after the independence of India, Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru had delivered a speech in New Delhi. This speech was famously titled, Trist with Destiny. This literally translates to, the, to make a secret deal with something that is destined for us. And in India's case, the word destiny referred to freedom. Now, after gaining this freedom, India has emerged as the largest democratic nation in the world. And we cannot talk about Independence Day without mentioning the countless freedom fighters who sacrificed their lives for India's freedom, the freedom that has been passed on to us as a blessing. Freedom fighters of India, like Mahatma Gandhi, Bhagat Singh, and Chandra Shekhar Azad, were famous patriots who struggled hard for India's rights until the end of their lives, for all of us to breathe the, this air of freedom and independence. At this auspicious day, we are blessed to salute our esteemed tri-colored national flag with saffron, white, and green stripes and the chakra in the center. For those who don't know, the saffron symbolizes sacrifice and courage. The white represents truth in our speech and purity in our thoughts, and the green exhibits life and faith. And finally, the chakra indicates eternal motion and progress. Uh, I would like to thank the people that were here uh, uh, today. Um, standing behind me, we have State Representative Vanna Howard, Rita Mercier, Dan Rourke, Vesna Nu, uh, Mr. Elliot, I don't know if he's here yet, but he's on his way. Uh, Corey Robinson, Eileen Del Rosa, um, City Manager Tom Golden called us and told us he wasn't going to be able to make it here today, but uh, he gives us his best wishes, Mr. Mayor. And we have the sponsors to thank for this event and making it so su successful. So I'm going to be uh, listing those out for you guys. We have Nitin and Meena Patel of Store 38 in Lowell. Anil and Urshila Patel of Lowell VP Racing and VP Mart. Piyush and Manisha Patel from Boston Road Market and Liquor. Himansu and Palak Patel, uh, Monarch Adult Daycare and Heaven AFC, Lowell. Chetan Patel of Maruti Indian Grocery. Suresh Bhai of India, India Basket Lowell, and Ashish Doshi of Rusab Travels. And a special thanks to Snail Patel, Risha, uh, Rita Patel, Ashish Doshi, Syed Mohammed Hussain, and Simi Hussain for volunteering their time to make this event possible. Jai Hind! Jai. Vande Mataram!
Thank you, thank you. May I say, you look marvelous today. Give yourself a round of applause. And may I just say that there will be times when we get older and we're not able to carry on this tradition. So it's very smart of you to bring your children. So they will carry on this wonderful tradition. Let us hear it for our children. So welcome to the flag raising of a unique land, vibrant colors, breathtaking landscape, and rich history. I know we're here today to celebrate the 75th anniversary of your independence, but I'd like to add a little bit more and say, let us celebrate India. Let us celebrate your country, because I can look around and see the pride in your face. You are so proud. There is a good crowd here today. And I'm honored to be here on behalf of our mayor, Sakari Chow, who had a previous engagement and he could not make it, but he sends his best wishes and happy independence to each and every one of you. I would like to, now, you could have been anywhere else today. It's a beautiful day, a little bit cooler, but you chose to be here with, to celebrate your independence and show your pride of your nation. I also want to say that so did a lot of my colleagues, so I'd like to take this opportunity to introduce them again, if you don't mind. And we have State Representative Bana Howard, <laughs> School Committee Woman Eileen Del Rossi, <laughs> City Councilor and my friend Vesna Noon. Our esteemed city councilor, Danny Rook. And you, we forgot to mention him because he was on his way up here, but that is Wayne Janess. Thank you so much. And right behind me is another newcomer, but very, very intelligent and a credit to the council, Corey Robinson. So I just want to say a few other things, if you don't mind. I just want to say that in this city hall, I, I had the pleasure and honor to marry someone. It took a half an hour. But I want you to know, since I last saw you, I had another wonderful experience. And that was to take part and be a part of an Indian wedding. So you must know what I'm gonna say next because as we take a half an hour in City Hall, Indian people get married and they, it takes a whole week. I was with them practically forever and a day. It was unbelievable. And we changed our outfits, Indian outfits, six times. I've never ever seen anything like it, but I was honored to be a part of it. So I feel a little bit closer to you in my desire one day on my bucket list is to go to India. I'm almost gonna be there, I'll tell you right now. But I wanna say that for over 24 years, my, doc my daughter has worked for a wonderful Indian dentist, Dr. Manjula Badalari, and she has been wonderful and instrumental. And I also will not be, be remiss in my duties if I didn't mention the fact that the people of Indian dis descent have done tremendous charitable work all over the country, not just in the United States, but all over the world, supporting health, humanitarian, education, community empowerment, environmental protection, TNC nature conservation. So to each and every one of you, I know in Lowell you have helped out the senior center, you have helped a, a police officer's family who has who had gotten killed in a motorcycle accident. You have helped the food bank for many, many, many years. Thank you for your wonderful contribution. I am so proud of each and every one of you. Give yourself a round of, of applause for all you do for this city and the Merrimack Valley and around the world. It is my honor also. I would say a little bit of uh, Indian because someone said, Vandhi Mataram. Vandi Mataram. Are you familiar with what I'm saying? Yes. And I'm not pronouncing it good, so bear with me. J. Swaminen O. Rayon. 
Yeah? Okay. So thank you very much. I just, because I want to add a little bit and make you feel like I'm a part of your family. So I, I have the honor to present the proclamation to Javan, Javan Patel. There you are, here you are. And this is a proclamation by His Honor, the Mayor Sakari Chow, whereas on August 15th, 1947, ending 200 years of British rule, Jawaharlal Nehru, India's first prime minister said, at the stroke of midnight hour, when the world sleeps, India will awake to life and freedom. A moment comes when, which comes but rarely in history when we step out from the old to the new, India discovers herself again. And whereas today this beautiful country, the most populous demo democracy in the world and a loyal friend to the United States celebrates 75 years of independence while we celebrate the contributions of Indian Americans to Lowell. And whereas today those of Indian heritage around the world will proudly display the saffron white and green flag symbolizing the courage, faith, and freedom of their homeland. Now therefore I, Rita Mercier, on behalf of our Mayor Sakari Chow and all my members on the City Council of, in the City of Lowell, Massachusetts, do hereby issue this proclamation in honor of India Independence Day in the city of Lowell and urge all citizens to join in the celebration given this 13th day of August 2022 by our Mayor Sakari Chow. Congratulations and thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. If any of my colleagues would like to say a few words, uh, Danny Rock. Thank you, Councilor Mercia. Uh, I would like to, first of all, just thank uh, the organizers uh, for allowing me to be here today to celebrate the 75th uh, Independence Anniversary um, to the Indian culture uh, here in Lowell. You know, I, I see so many of the, 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 uh, the elders of, of the community, and you are really setting the example um, for those that, that follow you. Uh, what a great um, contribution to Lowell uh, that you have made, uh, and to be able to pass that along uh, for the future. Uh, you know, especially in Pawtuckerville as, as well. It's a the, the large population that has has been so much uh, to the city of, of Lowell. Um, once again, I want, I want to thank you for allowing me to be here and to, to participate. Uh, and Nitin, we'll get your street paved, I promise. Okay, your, 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 your streets will come up. It's going to be, be brand new pretty soon, right? Yeah, so, <laughs> yes, yeah, too much. But uh, but once again, it's uh, I'm honored to, I'm honored to be here. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. The list is long and distinguished, and you got it right. So, uh, but we'll take care of it. And you know, just just again to be here today uh, to t take part in this uh, is, is an honor for me. So, have a wonderful day, uh, and, and thank you very much. Take care. I'd like to request Ms. Vanna Howard, the state re representative, to please say a few words. Thank you so much. Um, it's so great to be here with all of you again today. What a glorious morning to be here in person again and celebrate the 76th independence and freedom uh, of India. And so it's so great to be here and thank you. I just want to acknowledge to take this moment and acknowledge your vital contributions uh, to the social, social, economic, cultural, and political life here in the city of Lowell and across this nation. And so I hope to see all of you again at the festival later this, uh, this month on the boulevard, uh, celebrating food, amazing food, and music, and, um, and culture, uh, your beautiful culture. So thank you again for inviting me uh, to be here to celebrate this important um, uh, Independence and Freedom Day with you all. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Howard. Also, uh, welcoming another city councilman who's just joined us, Paul. Okay. Um, just, just a little announcement, though. We are also inviting everybody to join um, us in celebrating the Independence Day on Monday at Drake at Adult Center.
um, active life, adult daycares, and um, sorry, what's the address? In Drake, it will be honoring the Indian Independence Day on the August 15th. Thank you. Mr. Vesnanun is going to be presenting another certificate to us, so welcome him. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, please give it up to uh, the organizer and the sponsor for this wonderful occasion. <laughs> Happy, I'm very honored, uh, and thank you for including us, me, and my colleague in your wonderful celebration, the 75th anniversary of India Independent Day. I have citation from Congresswoman Lori Trahan to read to you. She couldn't be here, but she sent her congrat congratulations to all of you in this special occasion. The citation read, the United States House of Representatives Certificate of Special Congressional Recognition presented to the Indian community of law upon celebrating the 76th, 75th India Independent Day, the Indian community and their tremendous contribution has been integral to the strengthening the city of law. Your dedication to promoting and preserving the vibrant Indian culture will forever have a lasting impact on the greater law region and beyond. Signed by Lord Johan, dated August 13. 2022, let me ask uh, Mr. Patel to uh, come and accept this uh, recognition. Thank you very much. Enjoy the celebration. Good morning, everybody. My name is Paul Ratai. I'm the newest uh, city councilor, represent District uh, 7, including the Acre and the City Hall as well. Just want to say thank you for including us in this celebration. And we thank you for the contribution the um, Indian American contribute to the city of law and to the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. Thank you so much and have a wonderful celebration. Thank you. My name is Corey Robinson. Um, I represent the District of Senegal. I would just like to first thank everybody for allowing again me and my colleagues to attend this ceremony. Um, I personally am the type of person, I love culture. The food, the theater, the dance, the, the dress, the music, all of that, it, it, it's another piece to the stew that we have here in Lowell, and, and it's very vibrant. Um, what the contributions of each culture brings is something unique and, and special to our city as a whole. And one thing I, I, I'd have to say is, this culture here brings spice to the table, and I appreciate that. So <laughs> thank you, and, and happy Independence Day. Thank you, everybody. We have a few refreshments from our sponsors here, uh, so please enjoy yourselves. Again, very proud to be Indian and very proud to be a Lovellian. Thank you very much for giving us the opportunity to celebrate our culture, our Independence Day, and our keeping our values alive in the United States of America. Jai Hind. <laughs>